Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final game of the football season. As a member of the Lancaster Lebanon League, we would like to welcome you to this evening's contest between the Kutztown Cougars and your Pequay Valley Braves. We ask that you remember the rules of good sportsmanship in your consideration of the athletes, cheerleaders, officials, and other fans. Actions meant to demean opposing players, teams, spectators, and officials will not be tolerated. Our school is endorsed and will enforce the Lancaster Lebanon participant and spectator behavior policies. Consequently, unruly behavior and offensive language will not be tolerated and are reasons for removal from the premises. We would like to remind you that the playing surface is reserved for the teams, coaches, and officials only. We ask that at the conclusion of today, this evening's contest, you refrain from entering the playing area. 
In a commitment to ensure a healthy, comfortable, and productive environment, our school has, in effect, a drug-free and tobacco-free policy. This policy forbids the use of any tobacco products by students, staff, and visitors on school property and at all school activities. Finally, on behalf of the Pequay Valley Administration, teaching and coaching staffs, we hope you enjoy this evening's contest. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America and all those who are serving and who have served our country with the playing of the national anthem. Looks like the Braves will be kicking off to start the game. Set back to receive for the Cougars is number five, Mason Sherry. And number 23, Ethan Lafferty. Kicking off for the Braves, number 36, Peyton Leach. Mason Cherry on the return, brought down by Jordan Stauffer, number 11. Return for about 15 yards. And the ball is going to be spotted at the Cougars, 31. 26. Oh, 
quarterback Colton Matthias, number 10, pass is incomplete, right? Intended for James Undercoupler, number 15 for the Cougars. That pass play was broken up by Trevor Volmer, number 24 for the Braves. It'll bring up a second and 10 for the Cougars. Mason Cherry on the carry. Brought down by Trevor Volmer. Third down, Cougars. They picked up about five yards in that place. So it'll be third and about five. Ethan Lafferty on the carry. Volmer on that tackle again. Lafferty's run gives the Cougars a first down. Ball be spotted at the 43. Lafferty on the carry, brought down by number 27, Drew Tibbins. Second down, Cougars. Lafferty on the carry, brought down by a group of Braves. Ball is spotted at the 49. It'll bring up third and about four for the Cougars. Mason Cherry on the carry. Gives the Cougars a uh, first down. Jeremiah Garber, number 63, in on that tackle. Ball will be spotted at the Braves, 36. First and 10, Cougars. Ethan Lafferty on the carry, brought down by number 10, Dante Petershine. Pick up of about five. It'll bring up second and five for the Cougars. Number 25, Brendan Ackley on that carry. Brought down by Logan McGrain, number 66 for the Braves. Third down, Cougars.
And with that run, Cougars will have another first down. Ball is spotted at the 24-yard line with about eight minutes to play in the quarter. Ackley on the carry. Picks up a few yards for the Cougars. Second down. Matthias' pass falls incomplete, intended for number 25, Brendan Ackley. In on that coverage was Jimmy Neff, number 21. It'll be 36 Cougars. Ball will be spotted on the 20-yard line. Mason Cherry on the sweep right, picks up a few yards for the Cougars. It'll bring up fourth down. That tackle was made by number 13, Ashton Martin. Fourth down, Cougars. Mason Cherry on the carry takes it in for the touchdown. Colton Matthias and the keeper runs it around the right side for the two-point conversion. Number 10, Colton Matthias is getting set to kick for the Cougars. And takes it all the way up to the 45 yard line.
Peter Shine with a carry brought down in the backfield by a group of Cougars. Second down, Braves. Petersheim on the carry again pushes forward for a gain of about five. Pick up of seven yards. It'll give the Braves a third and five. Sauce's pass is complete to Trevor Bulmer. And that'll give the Braves a first down. That tackle was made by number three, Jace Gruber. 20 yard pickup on that pass play for the Braves. The ball will be spotted at the 31. Wilmore on the carry. Brought down by Chase Gruber, number three, for no gain. It'll be second and ten, Braves. Peter Shine on the carry pushes forward. Brought down by Jaden Sawyer, number two for the Cougars. It'll be third and about four for the Braves. Ball is spotted at the 25. Saltzus' pass intended for number three, Bishop to Shields, falls incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth down for the Braves. In on that coverage on that play was number two, Jaden Sawyer. Fourth and about four for the Braves. Fumble on the play, and it was recovered by number two, Jaden Sawyer. So the Cougars will take over from their own 31. It'll be first and 10 Cougars with three minutes left in the quarter. Brendan Ackley on the carry. 
Dante Petersheim made that tackle. Ball will be spotted at the Braves, 31. Number five, Mason Sherry for the Cougars. Wants it all the way in for the touchdown. Matthias's pass intended for Ethan Lafferty, number 23, falls incomplete. Colton Matthias, number 10, set to kick for the Cougars. Drew Tibbins and Peyton Leach are set back to receive for the Braves. A kick goes out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. Caden Carter on the keep. It's a loss of about two on the play. It'll bring up second and 12 for the Braves. Saltzus's pass intended for Drew Tibbins falls incomplete. Jack Moriarty, number 34 for the Cougars on that coverage. Third down, Braves.
Drew Pickens on the carry. Takes it all the way up to the 48-yard line. That'll be about a 30-yard gain for the Braves and a first down. Peter Scheim on the carry. It's brought down by number five, Mason Sherry. It'll bring up second and about nine for the Braves. Ball is spotted at the 50. And with that play, that takes us to the end of the first quarter. That pass intended for Drew Tippins falls incomplete. Chase Gruber, number three, in on that coverage. It'll be third and nine for the Braves. Whistle dead. There is a flag on the field. Yeah. Looks like it was offsides on the Cougars. It'll be a five yard penalty. And it'll bring up third. And about five for the Braves. Third and four. Excuse me. <laughs> Peter time on the carry pushes forward for a first down for the Braves. Ball be spotted at 39, first and 10 Braves. Salt suits on the keep. Brought down by number 25, Brendan Ackley. Yeah. 
It's a gain of about one on the play, so it'll bring up a second and nine for the Braves. The timeout taken by Pequay Valley. That pass is complete. That pass was complete to number eight, Michael Patterson for the touchdown. That was a 38-yard pass by Anthony Saltzfus into the hands of Michael Patterson. Number 36, Peyton Leach comes in to attempt the extra point for the Braves. The hold is Austin Blank. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Folks, please don't forget to get some concessions tonight down at the concession stand there, and all the proceeds will help our athletic program or help yourself to some fries and shakes at the Fry Shack and help out our music programs here at Peckway Valley. Thank you for supporting our great programs here at Peckway Valley High School. In the kick for the Braves is Peyton Leach, number 36. Mason Sherry, number 5. And number 23, Ethan Lafferty, is set back to receive the kick. Sherry brings it up to the 28 yard line. Tackle was made by number 15, Adam Schultz. It'll be a first and 10 Cougars from about the 28 yard line.
encroachment is called on the defense. That'll be a five-yard penalty. It'll be first and five for the Cougars. Ackley on the carry. That tackle was made by number 55, Damon Mancino. It'll bring up second down for the Cougars. Mason Sherry on the carry. Tackle was made by Drew Tibbins and Ashton Martin. No gain on the play, so it'll be third and about five for the Cougars. There is a timeout on the field. Lafferty on the carry is brought down by Dante Petersheim. It's a short gain on the play that'll bring up fourth down for the for the Cougars. Lafferty on the carry. Brought down by Peter Scheim. And that'll be enough for our Cougars. First down. Hand off to number five, Mason Sherry. It's a huge gain all the way down to the 21 yard line. Pitch left to number 25, Brendan Ackley. Brought down by Peter Sean. There's a pick. 
pick up of about eight on the play. It'll be second and two for the Cougars. Ackley on the carry. First and goal for the Cougars. Lafferty on the carry. Brought down by a group of Braves led by number 63, Jeremiah Garber. Second and goal, Cougars from about the five yard line. Mason Sherry takes the handoff and takes it in for the touchdown. Matthias's pass to number 15, James Undercoupler, is complete for the two-point conversion. Colton Matthias on the kickoff is caught by number 21, Jimmy Neff. And Neff returns it to about the 38 yard line. It'll be first and 10 breaks. Saltus' pass is complete to Drew Tibbins for a Braves first down across midfield.
Pippins is on the carry. Pickup of about seven. It's brought down by number 51, Lucas Kramer of the Cougars. Bring up a second and about three for the Braves from the Cougars, 42. Saltzfus on the keep. Brought down by number five, Mason Sherry. We'll bring up a third and about one for the Braves. Petersheim on the carry. Gets enough for the first down for the Braves. A tackle was made by Brendan Ackley, number 25. First and 10 Braves from about the 38-yard line. Thoughts to us on the keep. Brought down by Robert Baderick, number 26. Pickup of about eight on the play. And the ball will be spotted at the Cougars 32. It'll be second and about three. intended to Bishop to shield number three falls incomplete but there is a flag on the play number two Jaden Sawyer was in on that coverage for the Cougars Quarterback keep by Anthony Saltz, who takes it forward for a big gain for the Braves. Brought down by Jace Gruber, number three. Timeout is taken by Pequay Valley.
That pass was intercepted by number 23, Ethan Lafferty. Now it'll give the Cougars a first down. Matthias on the keeper around the left side is pushed out of bounds by Drew Tippins. It'll be second down for the Cougars. Timeout taken by Kutztown with 15 seconds left in the half. That pass is complete to number 23, Ethan Lafferty. And it's taken out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. It'll be a first and 10 Cougars. Delay of game called against the Cougars. That'll take them back to five. by Drew Gibbons to end the first half of play.
The Pequay Valley Marching Band is proud to present its 2023 field show, Breaking Ground, featuring music by the groundbreaking artists Harry Styles, Billie Eilish, and Lizzo. The band is under the direction of Mr. Rob Correo and Mr. Michael Eckersley. The color guard routine designer and instructor is Mrs. Jennifer Bilby. And the field show was designed and written by Mr. Ryan Kriebel. Lana Willenbrock is our featured trumpet soloist. The official band t-shirt was created by Junior Maddie Heverin. The PDH marching band is proudly led on the field by senior drum major Kylie Worrell and junior drum major Maddie Heverin. Our drum majors bring 10 years of experience, dedication, and esprit de corps to our marching unit under their direction. The Pequay Valley Marching Band would like to thank our band parents, staff, volunteers, the high school administration, and the Pequay Valley School Board for all of their support this season. Special thanks to our corporate sponsor, Sheets, on Old Philadelphia Pike, for their generous donation to our marching unit. Drum majors, are your braves ready? Pequay Valley Marching Band, you may take the field for your halftime presentation.
At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to honor our senior cheerleaders. Our first senior cheerleader is Ellie Baldwin. Ellie is being walked by her parents, Ned and Jennifer Baldwin. She is the oldest of five children. Ellie has cheered for PB since seventh grade and is now captain of the varsity team. She is a part of the student council and the ski club. Her hobbies include dance, horseback riding, and shopping. Her favorite cheer memory is being able to cheer with her sister, Mia, and her cousin, Amy. Ellie plans to attend college to pursue marketing or business. Ellie Baldwin. Our next senior cheerleader is Olivia Berelik. Olivia is being walked by her parents, Christy and Dan Berelik. She is involved in PV concert choir and PV cheerleading. She has cheered for the last 11 years. Her favorite cheer memory is trying new stunts and being able to connect with everyone. She plans to attend a university majoring in business with a minor in accounting. Olivia Berlich. Our next senior cheerleader is Jordan Ray. Jordan is being escorted by her dad, Jay Prouse, and her brother, Jackson Ray. She earned two FFA degrees and is proficient Keystone and Advanced PSAT scores. She belongs to Health Club, PB Varsity Cheer, and FFA. Her favorite cheer memory is conversations on the cheer bus to and from away games. She plans to do an internship at LGH and attend Pennsylvania College of Health and Sciences for labor and delivery. Jordan Ray. Our next senior cheerleader, who is also a marching band member, is Mariah Kaufman. Mariah is being escorted tonight by her mom, Valerie. While at Pequay Valley, Mariah participated in marching band for one season and cheerleading for four. The Women in Business Program and Art Club Yearbook are activities that she's involved in. And after graduation, Mariah plans to go to cosmetology school. Her favorite memory while at Pequay Brave was the time Sage kept taking off his pants on the bus. Our next marching band member senior is Tiffany Ream. Tiffany Ream is being escorted tonight by her mom, Jamie Morton. While at Pequay Valley, Tiffany participated in marching band for five seasons. After graduation, Tiffany plans to attend the School of Veterinary, Veterinary Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, Penn Vet. Her favorite memory while at Pequay Brave was being able to have the best math teacher, Mr. Espy, for her entire high school years besides him liking the Green Bay Packers. Our next marching band senior is Landon James Stutzfus. Landon is being escorted by Linda and Steve. While at Pequay Valley, Landon participated in marching band for one season and concert band. 
and he's also involved in eSports Club. After graduation, Landon plans to attend Thaddeus Stevens and become a carpenter. His favorite memory while Peckway, Peckway Brave was winning that teddy bear at the Spring Fling of 2022. Landon James Sotu. And last but certainly not least, we'd like to honor Kylie Worrell. Kylie is being escorted this evening by her grandfather, Ronald Groff, and mom, Nicole Groff. While at Pequay Valley, Kylie participated in marching band for four seasons, attends CTC full-time for medical assisting, is a part of the National Technical Honor Society, and partic participated in concert band for seven years. After graduation, Kylie plans to attend the PA College of Health Sciences for an associate degree in radiography and then move forward into nuclear medicine. Her favorite memory while Pequay Brave was having Colleen Wagner as a teacher and going to CTC, Kylie Orell. And let's give one more big round of applause for all of our senior cheerleaders and senior marching band members.
Okay, and the second half of the game is about to start. We've got number 10, Dante Petersheim, and the number 36, Peyton Leash, set back to receive for the Braves. In the kick for the Cougars is number 10, Colton Matthias. Drew Tibbins on the return is brought down by number two, Jaden Swore. The ball will be spotted at the Braves 33. First and 10 Braves. Hayden Carter on the run takes it all the way down to the Cougars' 29-yard line. That was a 38-yard pickup for the Braves. First and 10, ball will be spotted at the Cougars' 30. Petersheim on the carry around the left side. Picks up about four yards on the play. Bring up second down for the Braves. That tackle was made by number 25, Brendan Ackley. Petersheim on the carry, breaks through for another Braves first down. Tackle was made by Jack Moriarty, number 34 for the Cougars. First and 10 Braves, ball will be spotted at about the nine yard line. First and goal Braves. around the outside. It's in for the touchdown. Coming in to kick the extra point, number 36, Peyton Leach. To hold is number 34, Austin Blank. The kick is spotted, the kick is away, and the kick is good. Yeah. 
Returned by number five, Mason Sherry. Brought down by a group of Braves led by number 11, Jordan Stauffer. Ethan Lafferty on the carry. Tackle made by number 15, Adam Schultz. Second down, Cougars. Meets and Sherry on the carry. Pushes forward for a big gain for the Cougars. Ball will be spotted at the 43. It'll be a first down and 10 for the Cougars. Lafferty on the carry. Picks up a gain of about six. Second down, Cougars. Ackley on the carry. In on that tackle was number 15, Adam Schultz, and number 8, Michael Patterson. First down, Cougars. Ball is spotted at the Braves, 44. Hand off to number five, Mason Cherry pulls forward, gets close to the first down for the Cougars. Ball will be spotted at the Braves 35. It'll be third and short.
a legal procedure called on Kutztown. That'll be a five-yard penalty. Still be third down. Lafferty on the carry, taken out of bounds by Dante Petersheim. It'll bring up fourth down for the Cougars. The turnover on downs. Hand off to a Bomer, takes it around the right side, pick up a few yards. Pushed out by number five, Mason Cherry. It'll be third down and about three for the Braves. There's a fumble on the play, recovered, recovered by number five for the Cougars, Mason Sherry. Brendan Ackley, number 25 on the carry, plows forward for a Cougars first down. He was finally brought down by number 66, Logan McGrain.
Ashley on the carry. Brought down by Alex Wilkinson for the Braves, number 54. That'll be another first down for the Cougars. Handoff goes to number 23, Ethan Lafferty, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Pass is complete to number 23, Ethan Lafferty, and he pushes forward to get that two-point conversion. How about our PBHS cheerleaders, folks? Let's give them a round of applause. Our freshman on the team is Nayelis Cordova Lauren. Danielle Armit and Addison Slaymaker. Sophomores are Sage Ray, Lily McDonald, Mackenzie Purley, Leah Ray, Devontae Robertson, Sierra Langston, and Nevea Wiggins. And our juniors are Cheyenne Armit. Kimmy Baez, Savannah Thomas, and Amy Wilkinson. And once again, your seniors co-captains, Mariah Kaufman and Jordan Ray. Vollmer on the return takes it up to the 30 yard line. And finally, our senior captains of the cheerleading squad is Ellie Baldwin and Olivia Berlick, your Pequay Valley High School cheerleaders. Caden Carter on the keep, takes it around the left side. In on that tackle was Robert Batterick, number 26 for Kutztown. The scores around the league, Lancaster Catholic is up on Scoop Hill Valley, 21 to 14, with eight minutes and 24 seconds left in the third. Pass intended for Drew Tibbins falls incomplete. Eight 
Handbook Leona is up on Northern Lebanon, 24 to nothing. And Hamburg is leading over Columbia, 14 to nothing at halftime. The Calico is up on Conrad Weiser, 10 to seven. Pass is complete to Tibbins. Takes the ball out to about the 38-yard line. In on that tackle was number 26, Robert Batterick. Bring It's going to bring up fourth and about four for the Braves. And that last play will take us to the end of the third quarter. Another score from around the league. Wyo missing is up on Lampeter Strasburg, 12 to nothing in the third quarter. Hey folks, at the concession stand, pizza, hot dogs, and corn dogs are all half price. So if you've already had dinner, but you want to go back for seconds, or maybe you skipped dinner and you changed your mind, go and get yourself a half price corn dog, hot dog, or some pizza over at the concession stand. Carter on the carry, brings the ball out to the 49-yard line. He was pushed out of bounds by number 34, Jack Moriarty. That'll be a first down for the Braves. Petersheim on the carry was met by number 70, Tyler Halleck on that play. It's like a loss of about two on that play. It'll bring up second and 12. Ball will be spotted at the Braves 49. That pass intended for Patterson, number eight, falls incomplete. Third down, Braves.
that pass was caught by number three Bishop the Shields. And the ball will be spotted at the 20 yard line. That was a 31 yard pass play by Saltzus. And that will give the Braves a first down from the Kutztown 20. Saltzfus on the key, pushes forward for a gain of about six yards. Ball will be spotted at the 14, second down and about four. Gibbons on the carry pushes forward close to the first down. Brought down by Mason Sherry. And Gibbons' run will give the Braves a first down. It'll be first and goal. Ball will be spotted at the Cougars' nine yard line. Petersheim on the carry, met right away by number 52, Alexander Reyes. Pass intended for Volmer, falls incomplete. That'll bring up third down for the Braves. Saltzfus on the keep. Taken out of bounds at about the five yard line. It'll be fourth and goal from the 10. Pass was complete to Volmer. But falls short of the goal line and that'll be a turnover on downs. And Kutztown will take over.
Ackley on the carry. There's a personal foul called on the Braves, which will give the Cougars a first down. Sherry on that carry is brought down by Carter. There's another flag on the play. There's a penalty called on the Cougars. Take them back a few yards. Looks like it'll still be first down for Kutztown. Oh, now second down. Second down, Kutztown. Ackley on the carry, brought down by a group of Braves. Takes it out to about the 26-yard line, and it'll be third down for the Cougars. Lafferty on the carry. Lafferty takes it out to the 38 yard line. The ball will be spotted at the 43, and with Lafferty's run, that'll give the Cougars a first down. <laughs> Sherry on the run. Jimmy Neff was in on that tackle, as well as Alex Wilkinson, number 54. Second down, Cougars. Matthias on the keep. That tackle was made in the backfield by number 66, Logan McGrain. It'll bring up a third and about 10 for Kutztown.
Sherry on the run. Brought down by Dante Petershai. Fourth down, Cougars. Was complete to number 15, James Undercoupler. That'll be enough for a Cougars first down. Ball will be spotted at the Braves 41. Ackley on the carry takes it all the way in for the touchdown for the Cougars. Number 70, Tyler Halleck pushes forward and it gets into the end zone for the two point conversion. So there was a penalty in that last play, a legal procedure called against Kutztown. So they will retry the two-point conversion. Thank you. 
Matthias gets set up to kick for the Cougars. Peyton Leach on the return, fights his way up to the 37-yard line. Pass intended for number 34, Austin Blank, falls incomplete. It's broken up by number 20, Eli Schlepik. Peter Sean takes it to about the 49. That'll be enough for a Braves first half. Caden Carter on the carry takes the ball all the way out to the 43. Or actually all the way out to the 39. That'll give the Braves a first down.
Jaden Carter on the keep. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 26 yard line. That'll give the Braves another first down. Legal procedure called on Peckway Valley. Take him back five. It'll remain first down. is complete to Vollmer. Goes out of bounds down near the 17-yard line. Pass intended for Drew Tippins falls incomplete. Saltus on the keep, takes it forward for a first down for the Braves. Tackle was made by number 22, Ian Barr, for a down. Ball will be spotted at about the 13. It'll be first and 10. Tippins on the sweep right. It's a big game for the Braves. Ball will be spotted at about the six yard line. Second down for the Braves. Foster's on the keep, takes it in for the touchdown.
timeout is taken by the Braves. Soft juice on the keep around the right side is brought down by number three, Jace Gruber.
And with that play, that will end tonight's contest. Thank you, Braves football, for another excellent season. Thanks for all your hard work. Thank you, cheerleaders. Thank you, band. And congrats to all of our seniors that are members of all of those clubs. Well done, everybody. Have a safe trip home and enjoy your weekend.